The Johnson Red Beam Industrial Magnetic Pulley Alignment Laser is very well made and engineered to be very easy to use. A good bit of the accuracy and ease of use is in the design of these targets. The bar has three nickel-plated rare earth magnets that develop a bunch of holding power. Each of the targets also has a nickel-plated rare earth magnet built into them. I found out early on that these magnets are strong enough that you have to be careful how close together they are when you set them down. The laser emitter is fixed in the body so that it's at the same height as the targets when they're in their base position. The target magnets are built into a precisely threaded central core. The flat area at the bottom of this V groove is exactly the same width as the laser beam and that makes this outfit very precise when you're setting something up. To adjust the targets we turn the body around that core. With each turn producing a sixteenth inch of change you can get very precise with these targets. The first thing I checked was the pulleys on my planer. I put the bar on the upper pulley and turned the laser on. I put all three targets on the bottom pulley and this allows us to see how close the alignment is. The targets are always adjusted to their zero setting to begin the test. And we can see that the laser is right in the middle of all three of the targets, so this pulley is lined up fine. The perfect alignment of the bell pulleys explains why there's no belt dust in this cover even though I've used the planer for four years since I took this cover off last. To check the planer tables, I put the bar on one side and spread the targets out across the other end of the tables. I keep my tables flat so they should be right in the middle of the targets. With three targets you can be sure that the tables align properly all the way across. And you can group the targets however you want to make specialty checks if you need to. To check my joiner, I put the bar at the end of the outfeed table with the laser shined down across the infeed table. Then I put one target at each outboard corner of the infeed table and the third one centered right at the edge of the infeed table where it meets the cutter head. I have the table set at zero depth so I can make sure that that stop is right and see if the table is cold planar. Then I just turn on the laser and I can go down and look at the other targets to see how close everything is. This joiner has been working just fine so I'm not surprised to find that all three of the targets have the laser right in the center line as it should. The laser is actually a flat wedge shaped beam so it doesn't matter how wide the joiner is you can check it all the way across. You can also check the bigger surfaces like on a table saw. I put the bar at the edge of the table saw surface not the wing. Then I can shoot it across and check the other wing to make sure that it's flush and parallel with the table surface. And then to check the other wing you can just turn everything around. You can also just slide the bar to the other side of the table saw to double check your readings. While doing this test here I found out that one corner of my wing was about 1 1 28th of an inch low and we fixed it. By now the stick and screw guys are climbing the walls and I concede that this isn't for everybody. But I also know that there's a lot of people out there that like this kind of accuracy and will see the Johnson Red Beam Industrial Magnetic Pulley Alignment Laser to be a good investment.